this just in with medical news today. I'm gonna read a little bit of this to you and I'll tell you what this means in terms of controlling your blood pressure. It's talking about uh, does beetroot juice lower blood pressure? The short answer is yes it does, but we'll go over a little bit here. It says beetroot contains high levels of dietary nitrate, which our body converts into the biologically active nitrite, and then that helps our body produce nitric oxide and this relaxes and dilates the blood vessels. This is, if you watch my channel, this should be uh, no particular uh, news to us. However, the big question is, uh, they did a, they were talking about a double blind study um, for eight weeks, and it looks like they reduced blood pressure uh, by eight points uh, systolic and four points diastolic after four weeks of doing it. Now the study was, with patients between 18 and 85 years old. This trial was done uh, at the Queen Mary University of London in the UK and it was published in the journal Hypertension. So here's something that's interesting about this study and it mentioned that when they had the subject stop taking the beetroot juice, uh, after two weeks their blood pressure began to rise again. Which is interesting because this is the same thing that happens with blood pressure medication. If you take blood pressure medication and you stop taking your blood pressure medication, guess what happens? Your blood pressure rises again. So herein lies the question, guys. This is very interesting when we think about it this way is, is there something that can be considered a permanent uh, solution to blood pressure? I mean, if beetroot juice lowers our blood pressure, but we have to take it every day, then it's not really a permanent solution because if we stop doing it, then the blood pressure comes back. If we take blood pressure medications, whatever your doctor has prescribed, if you stop taking that, your blood pressure comes right back. If you lose a bunch of weight and you start exercising and changing your diet and you lose weight and your blood pressure goes down to normal levels, does it stay that way forever? Only if you keep exercising and keeping the weight down. If you do intermittent fasting or keto or carnivore or vegan or vegetarian diets and that lowers your blood pressure, does it stay like that forever? Well, not really. As soon as you change your diet back to a normal crappy diet or whatever you had before, your blood pressure rises. So the actual truth of the matter is there is no such thing as a permanent solution to lowering your blood pressure. Whatever lowers your blood pressure, you're gonna have to keep doing. So whether that change is a dietary change, an exercise change, a drug change where you're just ingesting drugs, if you have high blood pressure, whatever seems to lower your blood pressure is gonna have to be continued pretty much forever. Fascinating stuff. So the sponsor of today's video is Nature's Pure Blend and they have a product called Nitric Oxide Flow. And what this has are some amino acids, L-arginine and L-citrulline, that are the constituents that allow our body to produce more nitric oxide. So if you want to have better blood pressure, which let's face it, who doesn't, you need to supply the nutrients necessary for our body to raise the nitric oxide levels in the blood vessels. So by taking this type of product, you can significantly lower your blood pressure. So there will be a link down in the description where you can actually look at this product and see if it's right for you.